హలో ఎవ్రీవాన్ నమస్తే వెల్కమ్ టు వివిత్ కెమి దిస్ ఇస్ విద్యాశ్రీ హోప్ యు ఆర్ ఆల్ డూయింగ్ వెల్ ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో ఐ విల్ బి డిస్కసింగ్ ది ఇంపార్టెంట్ మల్టిపుల్ చాయిస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఫ్రమ్ ది చాప్టర్ యాసిడ్స్ బేసిస్ అండ్ సాల్ట్స్ క్వశ్చన్ నెంబర్ వన్ ది గ్యాస్ బీయింగ్ టెస్టెడ్ బై బర్నింగ్ ఇన్ ది గివెన్ ఫిగర్ ఈస్ ఆప్షన్ ఏ హైడ్రోజన్ బి ఆక్సిజన్ సి నైట్రోజన్ అండ్ ఆప్షన్ డి క్లోరిన్ so you can see that in the given figure it is the reaction between zinc and sulfuric acid when zinc reacts with sulfuric acid here this is the reaction between metal and an acid when metals react with acid or acid react with metal hydrogen gas is liberated along with the formation of metal salt so zinc sulfate salt is formed and hydrogen gas is liberated so the correct answer is option a that is hydrogen question number 2 which of the following is an acidic oxide option 1 magnesium oxide option b zinc oxide c carbon dioxide option d is calcium oxide and the right answer here is option c carbon dioxide so here you know that acidic oxides are the oxides of non metals so here you have magnesium which is a metal so metallic oxide is basic in nature again second option you have zinc zinc oxide it is a metallic oxide so it is basic in nature and third you have is carbon dioxide which is an oxide of non metal so this is acidic in nature third one is calcium oxide again a metallic oxide so this is also basic oxide so option a b and d are basic oxides option c that's carbon dioxide it is the only acidic oxide in the given options question number 3 the products of neutralization reaction are option a salt and hydrogen b salt and oxygen c water and oxygen option d salt and water and the right answer is option d salt and water neutralization reaction is the reaction between an acid and a base so when acid and bases react together they undergo neutralization reaction and we get product as salt and water and therefore the right answer is option d question number 4 which of the following turns blue litmus into red option a sodium hydroxide option b milk of magnesia option c nitric acid option d calcium hydroxide so here in the question they have asked which among the given four option turns blue litmus to red now here the litmus is turning blue to red it means that it is an acid when the litmus is turning from red to blue then the given compound is a base so here from the given four option we have to identify an acid and therefore the right answer is option c nitric acid whereas sodium hydroxide milk of magnesia which is magnesium hy- hydroxide and option d calcium hydroxide are all bases and these bases when checked with red litmus paper they turn l- red litmus into blue whereas here we need an acid that is nitric acid therefore the right answer is option c question number 5 which solution having following ph values has highest hydrogen ion concentration option a ph 14 option b ph 9 option c ph 7 option d ph 1 and the right answer is that ph 1 solution has highest hydrogen ion concentration as you all know ph scale ranges from 0 to 14 at 14 we have bases from 7 to 14 they are bases ph 7 solution is a neutral solution and between 0 to 7 the solution will be acidic so here below 7 the hydrogen ion concentration will increase h plus concentration increases below 7 and above 7 concentration of h plus ions decreases whereas the concentration of oh minus ions will increase so here ph 
pH 14 it means highest OH minus ion concentration or lowest H plus. Next we have is 9 and 7. So 7 is neutral pH, 9 is also having concentration of OH minus ion and the one with highest hydrogen ion concentration is pH 1. Question number 6. Water mixed with turmeric changes its color to orange red when you add option 1 sodium hydroxide, B hydrochloric acid, C lemon juice, D tamarind juice. The right answer is option A sodium hydroxide. It's because here turmeric acts as an indicator. Turmeric is a natural indicator and it changes its color to red when a basic solution is added. From the given four options, hydrochloric acid, lemon juice, tamarind juice are all acidic solutions whereas this sodium hydroxide is basic and therefore turmeric changes its color to red, orange red. Uh, question number seven, the acid present in the sting of honey bee is option A, tartaric acid, option B, citric acid, option C, oxalic acid, option D, methanoic acid. So the acid that is present in the sting of honey bee is methanoic acid as well as in the bite of certain ants there we get a itching or burning sensation that is because of the presence of methanoic acid. Also note that tartaric acid is present in tamarind, citric acid is present in citrate fruits such as lemon, orange etc. Then Oxalic acid, it is present in tomato. Then we have lactic acid, which is present in milk. So you have to remember all this, that now they have asked about the sting of honeybee. They might also ask about other acids, organic acids present in the fruits as well as vegetables. Moving on to question number 8. The pH of PQRS solutions is 6,4, 2 and 1 respectively. The strongest acid among these is option A, P, B, Q, option C, R, option D, yes. So we need to find the strongest acid among the given four solutions and you know that the one solution which has lower pH is the strongest acid. So now I will write this in the ascending order pH 1, 2, 4 and 6. The solution which is having pH 1 is yes. pH 2 is R and one with pH 4 is Q. pH 6 is P. So one with lower pH is the strongest acid. So strongest acid among the given is Yes, solution S is the strongest acid. Question number 9. Rahul's grandmother is suffering from acidity. Being a science student, home remedy he shall give is. So here the grandmother is suffering from acidity. As a science student, you know that to treat acidity, you will use a mild base. A mild base is a cure for acidity. Now from the given four options, you have lemon juice, turmeric, ginger extract and cooking soda. The one which is a home remedy for acidity is cooking soda. Therefore, the right answer is option D. Question number 10. Suma is bitten by a honeybee. To relieve the pain, she should use this one among the following. Option A, lemon juice. Option B, tamarind juice. Option C, lime water. Option D, turmeric. Now, Suma is bitten by a honeybee. So, you know that sting of honeybee contains methanoic acid. So, sting contains acid. So, as to neutralize this acid, we should be using a basic solution. So, therefore, the right answer is option C, lime water. Question number 11 pH of acid rain is option A7, B6.5 to 7.0, option C 
6 option D less than 5.6 so you have to remember this pH of acid rain will always be less than 5.6 question number 12 which of the following oxide you should use to neutralize an acid option a carbon dioxide option B sulfur dioxide option C calcium oxide option D phosphorus trioxide so now you know all the metallic oxides acts as bases or they are basic in nature and all the non-metallic oxides will act as acidic solution well there are a few exceptions which acts as amphoteric oxide because in certain cases they act as acid in some other cases they act as base so here they have asked us which oxide we should be using to neutralize an acid we have to neutralize an acid it means that we should find a base so from the given four options you should search and find a metallic oxide which is basic in nature and therefore the right answer is option c option a b and d are non-metallic oxides which are acidic in nature so here we need a base to neutralize an acid we know that metallic oxides are basic in nature and therefore answer is C. Question number 14. Alkalis are option A. Bases soluble in water. B. Bases insoluble in water. C. Acids soluble in water. D. Acids insoluble in water. The right answer is option A. Alkalis are the bases which are soluble in water. It means they dissolve themselves in water. Question number 15. The pH range of our body is option A 7.0 to 7.8 B 6.0 to 6.8 Option C 6.5 to 7.2 Option D 8.0 to 8.8 .8. The right answer is option A 7.0 to 7.8 Question number 16. The correct pair of synthetic indicators among the following is option A turmeric and phenolphthalein, B turmeric and methyl orange, option C phenolphthalein and methylin orange, option D phenolphthalein and onion. So we have natural indicators as well as synthetic indicators where these turmeric, onion, red cabbage are all natural indicators and Synthetic indicators are, for example, phenolphthalein, methyl orange, etc. So, here the correct pair of synthetic indicators is option C, phenolphthalein and methylin orange. Question number 17. When zinc reacts with sodium hydroxide, the product formed are option A, zinc oxide and hydrogen, option B, sodium zincate and hydrogen, option C, zinc oxide and water, option D, sodium zincate and water corresponding chemical reaction is sudden reacting with sodium hydroxide NaOH NaOH it gives sodium zincate Na2 sudden O2 along with the liberation of hydrogen gas formula of sodium zincate is Na2ZnO2 to balance this reaction I should be putting a 2 in front of sodium hydroxide question number 18 A comma B comma C and D represents hydrochloric acid sodium hydroxide ammonium hydroxide and citric acid respectively the correct increasing order of their pH value is hydrochloric acid is represented as A Sodium hydroxide is B, ammonium hydroxide is C and citric acid is D. So here hydrochloric acid is the strongest acid and citric acid is a weaker acid compared to hydrochloric acid. So the pH value of hydrochloric acid will be very much lower than that of citric acid. So A comes first which is having lowest pH value then we have 
citric acid that is D. Now among the given two bases, ammonium hydroxide and sodium hydroxide, ammonium hydroxide is a weaker base in comparison with sodium hydroxide. Well, in between them, ammonium hydroxide will have a lower pH value in comparison with sodium hydroxide. Since ammonium hydroxide is a base, its pH value will be more than that of citric acid. Sodium hydroxide will have highest pH value. So the correct order is A less than D, which is less than C, which is in turn less than B. So the correct answer is option D. Question number 19. Which of the following is an olfactory indicator? Option A, turmeric. Option B, litmus paper. Option C, methyl orange. Option D, onion. Olfactory indicators are those by change in their smell when they react with our oxid or base, we can identify whether it is an acid or base. So here the olfactory indicator is onion. In acidic solution, its, remain, its smell will remain same, whereas in basic solution, it loses its smell. So that's how we identify the acid and base with the help of olfactory indicator onion. Question number 20. The equation which represents neutralization reaction is option A. Reaction of magnesium with hydrochloric acid giving magnesium chloride and hydrogen gas. Option B. Reaction between hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide to give sodium chloride and water. Option C. Reaction of iron with copper sulfate to give ferrous sulfate and copper. Option D. Reaction between calcium oxide and carbon dioxide to give calcium carbonate as a product. You know, neutralization reaction is the reaction between acid and base to give salt and water. So here we have the reaction between acid and base that is hydrochloric acid and sodium hydroxide to give sodium chloride salt as well as water and hence the correct answer is option B. Question number 21. Which of the following solution does not conduct electricity? Option A. Hydrochloric acid. B. Sodium hydroxide. Option D. Vinegar. Option C. Glucose. The correct answer here is option C. Glucose. Because option A, B, D. Okay. A is an acid. B is a base. D is again an acid. So these acids and bases, they undergo ionization and form ions. And these ions conduct electricity, whereas glucose cannot dissociate completely, so it will not conduct electricity and hence the answer is glucose. I will stop the video here. I hope you will find this video helpful. Please do like the video, share among your friends and subscribe to our channel. Do not forget to press the bell icon to get notified about the upcoming videos. Thank you for watching. Stay connected. Keep learning. Take care. Bye-bye.